This is InfoLife TV headline news, uh, November 7th. I'm Margot Dutkevich. Israel's ambassador to the United Nations, Dan Gilliman, on Tuesday slammed the UN Human Rights Council, saying that its ritualistic and virulent campaign against Israel is abhorrent and intolerable. Equally troubling is the Council's resulting disregard for serious human rights violations in many other parts of the world, including among its own members, he said. Israel will not grant the Palestinians a direct territorial passage between the two parts of the Palestinian Authority, Defense Minister Barak said Tuesday. The passage between the Gaza Strip and the West Bank, which may be worked out in the framework of a permanent agreement with the Palestinians, will remain under Israeli control and will run underground or through bridges. The U.S. Consul General Jacob Bors told reporters on Tuesday that invitations for the Annapolis Conference will be sent to the participating parties within 10 days. The same day, Prime Minister Olmert said the U.S.-sponsored peace conference will take place in the last week of November. Discharged soldiers should be permitted to study free of charge and receive first priority in being accepted to the nation's universities. Head of IDF Resources Major General El Azal Stern said Tuesday. His statements came just hours after the Army released data revealing that almost a quarter of the military service candidates do not enlist. The U.S. military on Tuesday announced the deaths of five more soldiers and one sailor killed in roadside bomb attacks, making 2007 the deadliest year for U.S. troops despite a recent downturn. At least 850 American military personnel have died in Iraq so far this year. Israeli player and Liverpool midfielder Yossi Benayoun insisted the team's record-breaking 8-0 Champion League victory will provide the necessary confidence boost for the side to go on. Benayoun was responsible for scoring three of the team's goals. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, the country's scientists present the latest in water technology. And the black Hebrews in Demona will soon build their own community. And Minister of Housing and Infrastructure Zev Boeing reveals his vision of a future in Israel. TV. 
live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolife.tv offers you a unique service. Regular video news updates free of charge on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem. Infolive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access infolive.tv.